This is the Dead with Dave single. Hello and welcome to the Dead with Dave show, a show that talks about all things Halloween and haunt related. Today in the show, we are going to start something a little bit different. It's a new sideshow called the Dead with Dave single, where we focus only on one single topic or segment the entire episode. This will be a great way for me to put out more content as it comes up that isn't all that time consuming. So now we will have the regular Dead with Dave show that will focus on three to four different topics ranging from about 20 to 30 minutes long. Then we'll have the Dead with Dave mini, which will be just a brief rundown of whatever needs to be talked about quickly. That'll range from about two to five minutes long. And now we will have the all new Dead with Dave single, which will focus on one single topic that can be anywhere from five to 15 minutes long. To be honest, sometimes producing a whole Dead with Dave takes a lot longer than I expected to take. So it either gets pushed back or you know, gets rushed out, and the quality I want to make, well, it just isn't there. I could do a Dead with Dave mini, because you know they're great for quick segments that don't need much explanation, but sometimes it's just not enough time for me to really talk about what I need to talk about. So hopefully, the Dead with Dave single will be a good you know, in-between show that you guys will like and will be fun to watch. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, you know, this works out good for everybody. Okay, so today on the new Dead with Dave single, we're going to focus on how to make videos that don't suck. Let's talk about how we can make our haunt videos just a little bit better by cutting out the most common mistakes we as haunters make while editing. This is a perfect time to do such a subject since I just finished the Dead with Dave Home Haunters Awards and I have intimate knowledge of how the majority of haunters are editing their videos today. But before we get into it, I do want to say that every year the haunt video quality continues to get better and better. Either you're following my advice here on how to make videos that don't suck or you're learning from somewhere else. Whatever it is, keep doing what you're doing it's definitely working and to help keep that progression rolling i put together a list of the top five things not to do while editing your haunt videos so let's get to it number five limit the use of those hokey transitions if you don't know what a hokey transition is it's those funky effects that come with most editing softwares to let you change from one video clip to another now sometimes these transitions can be useful but if you use them in the wrong way or too much, they can just become way too distracting. And if you don't prepare to use this type of transition correctly, as in you don't leave enough room in between your clips, you easily cut off a portion of that clip as the transition plays out. So instead of using those hokey transitions, use simple ones like basic crossfades, dissolves, or flashes. These are the easiest to use and are the cleanest looking. Plus, it won't distract your viewers from what you want them to really be focused on, which is your haunt. As a quick example, here is a video clip of my haunt using those hokey transitions. And here is that same clip, but with a nice clean crossfade. As you can see, it's a lot less distracting and it keeps people focused on your haunt, not your video editing. Technically, you don't want people saying, wow, that video was edited really well. No, you want them to say, wow, that haunt was really awesome. Number four, if some of your video clips are too dark to see, don't make us try to figure out what's on the screen. <laughs> if you have video clips that are way too dark or impossible to see clearly, don't include it in your video. Now, I get it. Shooting a haunt video is hard to do. It's a dark environment and without the proper video equipment made to handle low light situations. Or you're not lighting your haunt for video like I explained in episode 41. You're going to end up with dark, grainy, out of focus videos. I also understand if all you have is dark footage of your haunt, you sometimes have to work with what you got. But if you have a mix of good clear footage and some dark crappy footage, leave the dark crappy shit out. 
Even if it's a section of your haunt you really want to show us, like it's the absolute best scene in your haunt, but for some odd reason it just came out way too dark and you can't see it on your camera. Trust me, just cut it out. It's not doing your haunt any justice. There is no reason to include it if you can't see it. You might know what you're looking at, you might know what's on the screen, but we have no fucking clue what you're trying to show us. This is why we edit our videos in the first place, so we can show our haunts off the best light that we can, and take out all that bad crappy footage. As an example, here is a clip of my dungeon. One section of the clip is very dark and hard to see, while the rest is, you know, decent looking. Now here is that same clip, but with the dark section edited out. As you can see, using only your best footage is going to show off your haunt a lot better, and at the same time keep people interested in what you have to show them. Number 3. Don't pick your music solely based on the fact that you like the song. You should pick your music that works for your style of videography and editing. If you shot a slow paced video and you're using those nice crossfade transitions that I was just talking about, you want to pick a slower paced song to go with it. Now if your video was shot at a fast pace and you're using jump cuts in between your clips, then a faster paced song is the way to go. Proper music choice is what sets the mood for our videos. If what you have on screen doesn't match up with the music that you're playing, it can throw off the entire mood, essentially killing an otherwise great video. As an example, here is a clip that is shot slow and has nice slow transitions, but with the wrong fast tempo song. Now here is that same clip, but with a more fitting, slower tempo song. You can see what a huge difference the right song choice makes. Number two. Don't show each and every prop you have from 20 different angles with 20 different lighting aspects with and without fog. This is one of the hardest things to get people to stop doing. And I understand why we do it. We love our haunts. We work very hard to build them and we want to show everyone everything about them. But to be perfectly honest, and I'm going to be blunt here, so please don't hate me, but it's fucking boring. One to two shots of each prop is all that is needed for a haunt video. Anything more than that, you're going to find people hitting the fast forward button just to get through it. And someone fast forwarding is way worse than not showing every inch of your haunt. Now there is an exception to this rule. If your video is based on only one prop, as in if you're making a video for one of the Dead with Dave uh, prop awards, then we want to see every possible angle and lighting style. In this situation, we are invested in that one prop, and seeing it in more detail is perfectly okay. But we're talking about an overall haunt video here. So, a good rule of thumb is, a single prop should not be on screen for more than 10 seconds. That is it. And you can thank the average attention span of people for that one. 10 seconds before we are all bored. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Okay, for an example, here is a 20 second clip of different angles of a single prop of mine. And now here is a clip of three props in that same 20 second span.
I definitely feel having multiple props in that same time frame is way more interesting than one single prop from a bunch of different angles. The goal is to always keep your viewers wanting more. You give them too much and they're going to get bored. Okay, last but not least, the number one thing not to do while editing your haunt video is just because you shot three hours of good footage does not mean you have to use all three hours of that footage. How long your haunt video comes out to be should be relevant to how big your actual haunt is. If your haunt is a small front yard display with maybe 10 to 15 quality props, showcasing that on video should not take you 10 minutes. Time is not your friend here, and this goes back to what I was just saying. People get bored quickly. Unless you have the ability to hold someone's intention for a full 20 minute haunt video, don't make a 20 minute haunt video. But again, this is all relevant to your haunt and what you have to show people. But the best rule here is shorter is always better. What I like to do after I am done editing is to go back and cut it again. Take out this shit I feel doesn't help tell my story or show off my haunt. Then once that edit is done, I go back and I cut it one more time. I can easily cut out an extra minute or two just by re-editing and cutting out shit that I don't feel is really needed. For a quick example, here is a 30 second video I made. But as you can see, I'm running a little late. Now here is that same video cut down again, showing the same exact scene, but in half the time. You see, in half the time, I was able to show you what I wanted you to see without losing anything in the process. So cut, 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 and then cut one more time. Well, that's our list for today on what not to do while editing your haunt videos. Number five, stop using those hokey transitions. Number four, don't use the dark or bad footage. Number three, don't pick your music simply on the fact you like the song. Number two, stop showcasing too much of one prop and number one don't use all your haunt footage in one video i would love to hear if you got any to add to this list maybe something you have noticed while watching other haunt videos or a trick you use while editing your own haunt videos please leave it in the comments down below so we all can have a look at it any and all advice is always welcome the key to making videos that don't suck is to constantly try to improve your video making skills well that is it for this episode of the new dead with dave single i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw here please leave a comment down below if you like the new format if you think that the dead with dave single is something i should keep or it just sucks and you might as, i just might as well do the full dead with dave show uh like i said the dead with dave show isn't going anywhere i'm going to continue to do at least six episodes of that a year and i'm going to continue to do dead with dave minis i just wanted to add this in as something a little extra something i can do a little bit faster and get more content out so but tell me what you think Tell me, you know, do you do you like this? Do you hate this? You know, be honest. I need honesty. I don't want people to blow smoke in my ass all day long. I want you to be honest. So please tell me how you feel. And that's it. I'm not going to give a long, drawn-out ending. These, sh these uh, singles are supposed to be a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to end it here. I will see you on the next Dead with Dave show, Dead with Dave mini, or Dead with Dave single. Go over to PandemicHauntProduction.com for more Halloween and Haunt-related things. That is it. See you next time, and good night.